Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Um, I know I've been playing Central File Rook a lot lately. Maybe today we'll do something different. Good luck. So let's try Third File Rook. Um, you know, I wonder about this. I've not tried this before. It looks crazy, but what doesn't? So this could be a gateway to playing Opposing Rook. Uh-huh. Alright, apparently Opposing Rook's not happening here. Um, hmm. This is my own Joseki that I just made up. It doesn't seem terrible. So this is a different way of fighting against a Rook. Um, yeah, I don't know how good or bad this is. It's certainly freestyle. Mm hmm. Yeah, this does raise a question of where my rook belongs. So we'll try to use my rook this way. Interesting. So they're going to aim... Oh, I haven't defended this point, have I? Um... Hmm. There seem to be many problems with my strategy. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is what I get for improvising a lot. Um. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Progress of some sort has been made, but... This is not going to be pretty. Um... My bishop was in a weird spot, honestly. So this is not my craziest move ever. Okay, it makes sense to oppose my bishop this way. Um, we'll push on this file. So yeah, I've moved my bishop to a spot that it's just not harmonious with my other pieces at all. Um, and my rook is vulnerable, and now they are building their castle. Uh, so, where does this leave me now? Maybe I go there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now I need to understand what to do against this castle. 
Um, I think since I've already blocked my Rook from advancing, we'll move it sideways instead. Yeah, they're right. This is a good opportunity for them to attack me. That's a reasonable observation. Um, This is such a ridiculous retreat, but I don't see how I can hold my position. So, um, yeah, and this is me just trying to keep options open, but it's quite a mess. I wanted to go here, but the tactics with the silver moving up and taking the pawn just don't support that idea at all. So I play this instead. Um, maybe I push this pawn? I'm extremely iffy on pushing it. Hmm. Do tactics justify that move? I'm not sure. I guess they have another knight drop, and then the knight promotes, yeah, wait, and it doesn't promote, my bishop has this covered. Hmm. So, I'm threatening to push this. Mm -hmm. That's... That's pretty smart. Uh, yeah, that's really smart. Go Gofun! Oh boy. Um, well, my best option here is a full scale retreat. Which means I'm getting crushed. They still have a knight drop. Oh, well, they don't. They had it. They still do have it. 
um, I take pawn takes, I take again, they drop another pawn or they move up and stuff happens. Um, I don't think this is quite as good as they imagined it to be. Oh, they can retreat, and that traps my knight. This is me losing a pawn for no reason. Or rather, the reason is that I didn't... I thought this retreat would be excellent for me, and it's just not. After they retreat, my best move is to just simply push this. <laughs> Um, and then silver takes is quite reasonable. Although, uh, rook retreat might be even better than silver takes, but yeah. I just sacked a pawn because I struggled with tactics there. That's okay. Maybe. But yeah, had the silver advanced immediately, that would have been quite a mess. All right, now I've got a knight. Um, mm -hmm. Thankfully, I have two pawns here. If I had only one pawn, then this could not be considered. Um, as it stands, this is still pretty sketchy, but yeah, with uh, two pawns, it's at least some an option. With one pawn, not so much. But this is a really, really strong shape, isn't it? Let me check. Yep, I am capturing the screen correctly. That's good. So, yep, they take. They should take here again. Um, they get an enormous initiative, and there's nothing I could really do to stop this. I do put up my token resistance, but. Yeah, any resistance I offer here is more a gesture than something that could actually work. It's all symbolic. So, yeah, if silver takes, I can capture the rook. If rook takes... Uh, oh, does that do anything? That threatens mate in one. Mate in one is a real threat. I can't just ignore mate in one threats. Okay. Um, my rook is not hanging, actually. Uh, well. Oh, this is also making threats. Yes, yeah, so if I take the rook, they take my gold. And I cannot stop checkmate. I cannot run from it. I cannot stop it. So I actually do need to play something else here. Um, Something. Maybe a pawn drop would have been smarter. No, because then they exchange and then they can... well, I don't know. Silver drop. 
-hmm. There's nothing I can do to resist this in any real way. Uh, I do have a knight. So if they get completely reckless, maybe someday I could make a threat. Um, hmm. Nifun Sanjibio. That's a ridiculous looking move on my part. Um, but I don't care how the moves look, I just care if they work or not. Oh, that's mate in one. Uh, okay. Dodged a bullet. Bullets are getting harder to dodge. Nowhere to run. No, we're, yeah, okay, thanks for the game. You got me. Well played, well defended. So that's one down, two to go. Good luck. So their main strategy involves moving the silver to the square and moving this pawn up. So my f the first thing I did was prevent this pawn from moving up. And that deals with this particular strategy with that name. Um, okay, the king is going left, so let's chase the king. Um, And the chase continues. Here, such aggression is warranted, unlike game one. Um, all right, they're doing something slightly aggressive, so I'll slow down a bit. But also, this knight doesn't have very many places to go to. But yeah, if they had fully committed to diving into the corner and moving the silver here, then I might... I mean, there's no reason for me to stop attacking here. But uh, 
the king is able to run back out toward the center, so I can't heavily sacrifice right now. So, in other lines, you'd be able to sack here repeatedly, and stuff gets all exciting. Here, not so much. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. They intend to push this to hit my bishop. Um, so I'm going to go out this way, I think. So I'm leaving my rook on a useful line. I'm leaving this knight unable to move here. Maybe this silver needs to be in the center instead of next to my king. Oh, I missed this. That's aggressive. I think the reason I missed it is it's also... I don't know... Well, actually, I have this defended twice. There's nothing they can do to reinforce their attack at this moment. Um, but if I'm reckless, then they might be able to reinforce their attack somehow. Um, Since bishops aren't getting exchanged, I'll move this clump of generals together and away from this rook. Yep, so the opponent starts opening this side of the board. Um, are they going to push this again? No. But, um, hmm. I think we've reached a stalemate over here. If I had a gold general, I could maybe drop it here, and maybe dropping it here might cause some chaos but we're not even in that situation at the moment. It would be nice if this gold weren't here and then I could just move my silver up and take this, but again, we're not in that situation. This pawn is hanging. That's a free pawn. So I've built a castle. I've built some clops of pieces that aren't hanging. And now I'm going to try to attack one way or another. They blocked my rook, but it wasn't necessary to immediately do that. So I keep pressure across this rank. There's nothing they can do immediately to attack this, but also I'm not sure that they have a way to attack this ever, other than bringing this bold one, two, three to the right. I don't know that they have any other way to approach this piece. Um. They might try to do that, because I don't know what else they do. And maybe my rook does not belong here, and maybe it belongs in the opponent's hand instead. And I should take this and find some way in. I want to crack this open, but it doesn't look easy. Oh, I could push on this edge. That's where my king is, though. If they move the rook away, I can push this pawn with immense 
wonderful effect. Nanafun. Um, I don't know that they're going to move their rook, though. I give my bishop more squares to go to, and consider moving this somehow to strengthen it further. They block their rook. Um... Hmm. Mm, that would be slightly risky, but... Yeah, let's give my bishop more squares to go to. Threaten all the possibilities. So now my root bishop could drop back, it could go forward, who knows where it's going. I did allude to this earlier, now I play it. This gold cannot move, well, it can move sideways. It cannot safely move sideways because there's a silver blocking the rook. Um, but yeah, it did in fact move sideways. Bishop is now attacking this knight. Um, I'll attack my opponent's rook. The rook is one of two pieces defending this silver. Yep, that's fair. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Anyway, I've got a rook in hand now. Which I thought, I was so excited about this. But now that I'm here, what's to be excited about? I don't know. Um, opponent's bishop could go to 5-5 five, five soon. I don't really have a good way to contend with that. I want to break this open, but I don't know how. I want to remove the knight, and I know how to remove the knight. So, I guess that's where we start. And then maybe once I have a knight, things might turn my way. Um. Hmm? Go -hoon. It would be great if I could just block this bishop, and then I'd effectively be up a bishop. Well, except mine's not any good either. This up is a bit of a misnomer there. All right, my bishop opposes your bishop. Okay. Yep, you're attacking my old general. Um, I guess I have to defend it. This is defended, this is not, this is not. Um, no, I thought this is a rook for a second. I got it all excited. Um, All right, we'll start by taking the knight. The knight is a threat. So I remove it. Um, 
And then we'll attack the Silver General here. It does move, and I was debating a Knight drop here to follow. And is that too much? It feels like it's too much. Something. Um, Knight drop, gold back. Yeah, I don't see a next move. Because I'm not looking. Hmm. This might be a huge blunder. Oh, yeah, in fact, I'm just hanging a piece. Um, hmm. Wow. Correct, but, um, spooky. My attack doesn't do anything here. It looks nice. They don't have to take it, but also they could take it. It's a bluff, and either move they can make is fine. I missed mate in one. Thanks for the game. Well played. Well, we're not winning today. Good luck.
Why did I wait until they pushed this to consider such an attack? This might have been just as effective, if not more so, if I had taken this instead of that. I guess on the other hand, I have defended slightly better, so maybe... I don't know. Well, I might win a game today. Oh, I might not win a game today. <laughs> this could be interesting. Oh, wow. I did not foresee them putting the Rook in front of the Lance. Um, that's a new one for me. Okay, so... I just... Yeah. I'm spellbound. Opponents aren't falling for cheapos today. How unfair. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Hmm. This didn't work how I thought it worked. I'm bad. Alright, so... Let's just try to make something of this. Hmm. Here goes nothing. They take that simply. But this is my target. And it seems tricky. I mean, yeah, I guess that reinforces the target, doesn't it? Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> My opponent's plan. Um. Hmm. I unexpectedly have an attack. Nanafun. Because this gold can't safely defend that. Yeah, they have to sacrifice the gold to try to defend this. Um, but that's also an attacking move. Oh, fuck. This is not so simple. <laughs> uh, Rook takes Tokin, however, 
gives me another tempo. I would look all smart if I didn't use the F word there, because this is actually a nice attack. Um, hmm. hmm. Rick here is the move. Rook to other squares is not so safe. So this shuts the rook out of this attack um, and threatens other tactics. All right, I think I can freely take that. Um, oh, I can't take the pawn here. Oh, did I completely... Wow. That's a much stronger attack than I imagined. So, if I retreat one back here... Oh, I could have gone to the edge. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, whatever. No, if I go to the edge, that's mate in one. Um... Ah... <sighs> Uh, what a mess. They have checkmate, but can they find it? Bishop here. The king is forced to take the bishop. Mm hmm. Now they have a gold general in hand. Okay. Um... Hmm. Oh, that threatens mate in one. So, I mean, they already had checkmate, they missed it, but now they've got other checkmates that they're threatening. Gofun. Okay, let's play along with this mate in one threat. Oh, I'm sorry that. I am extremely blind. That was the threat. It's not a mate in one threat because it's a lance capture. Um, it's still a threat, but not what I called it. Anyway, this is my creative idea. Um, it's not brilliant at all. Um, oh wait, since they dropped the gold, my king could actually run out and silver drop I thought was mate, but is not. Hmm. Ten minutes seems too fast for either of us. Yes, they keep taking the pieces, as they should. When in doubt. Alright, let's take this. Oh, I should have run up. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. I am not operating on full capacity at the moment. This is the line I saw. No, running up though is the correct move. I think, unless there was a mate there? I assumed there was, but I, the reason I promoted the knight, or bishop, the reason I promoted the bishop to a horse was so that there would not be a mate. So the whole point was to run up the board. And then I forgot about the purpose of my move. Oh, no. Um... It occurs to me my move could have a second purpose now, can't it? Oh my goodness. Well, uh, there's this video game live streamer that keeps telling his editor, cut the tapes. Um, yep. Yeah. Wait, that's not me. This is the me. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.